Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn how to check if a string is palindrome in Java or not. Before that, we will understand what is the meaning of palindrome. So a string is said to be a palindrome if it is the same if we start reading it from left to right or right to left. So any string that is provided to you if the characters or the spelling of that particular string is same from left to right or right to left then you can say that that particular string is a palindrome. For example we have two words here first is radar and second is level. So if you read the radar from left to right so it will be R A D A R and if you read from the opposite side then also it will be same R A D A R. Similarly level so if you read from right to left it will be L E V E E L and if you read from the opposite direction it will be same L E V E L so that is the meaning of palindrome in other words we can say that reverse of that string is the same as the original string so if you consider your original string as level so the reverse of this string so reverse will be L E V E L so it is same as the original string so the logic to check if a particular string is palindrome or not we can always try to find the reverse of that string and if the reverse of the string is same as the original string then we can say that particular string is a palindrome. So we have already covered the topic where we have understood how to check if a particular or how to find the reverse of a string. So let's first identify or learn how to get the reverse of a string. So let's say if I have a string called code crush so the reverse of this particular string will be H S U R C E D O C meaning the last character of the original string will be the first character of the reverse string and so on like in the last second character was S then in the reverse it is the second character. So to get the reverse you need to understand two important string methods first one is length and second is caret. So let's first understand the length method. So what does this length method do? If you provide here string dot length, so this particular string is having the value code crush. Okay. So if you say yes string dot length, then this particular method will return you the number of characters present in the string. So that is the length of a string. So if you see your code crush, so there are total nine characters. So it will start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the length of string is nine. But always remember the length method will start from 1 but the indexing of the string starts from 0 for example string of 0 will be C string of 1 will be O string of 2 will be D and so on till string of 8 will be H so always remember indexing starts from 0 but the length function will start from 1 so length function contains the total number of characters present inside the string and the second method you need to understand is caret so this particular method will return you the character present at that particular index position. So for example if you provide in the code string dot caret i. So let's say value of i is 1. So what will be the value of index position 1? It will be o because at 0th index position it will be c. On index position 1 it will be o. On index position 2 it will be d and so on. So let's first get the reverse of a string and then we will check whether it is a palindrome or not because we already know if the reverse of a string is same as the original string then we can say it is a palindrome. So here in the Eclipse editor I have already have a class called palindrome demo and inside this class we have one main method. Now let's start to get the reverse of a string. So let's say I have one string string str and let's put here value as code so this is my string okay so this is the value of string now let's declare another variable reverse string let's say rstr which stands for reverse string and currently it is empty or null so we will provide a null value to it okay so this particular string is currently empty and we will declare now one for loop so let's have a for loop so for loop for 
int i is equal to 0 and i will continue till the string length okay so currently here we have the string length as 4 because there are 4 characters in our string which is c o d e so we will say a string dot length length string dot length and we will say i plus plus so it will start from the 0th index position it will continue till string dot length so string dot length will be returning as 4 and total index position here will be 3 so that's why i is less than string dot length and every time we will increment the loop here and inside this loop now you can get the particular character position so let's first declare one variable here char ch so we have just declared it and here we will say char ch is equal to string dot char at and here you need to provide the index position so i will say here i so for every loop you will get the index position here and if i try to print here the index position this out let's print it so you will learn here you, we are getting the index position here if i run this code so see we are getting the index position here first time it will return us c then o then d and then e now what we want to do we want to assign this character characters to our reverse string so how we can assign it first you need to say reverse string then you need to say char which we are getting here ch and then we will add reverse string again so let me explain you what this particular code is doing here and let me print out the reverse string in each iteration so you will learn how we are getting this okay now first time the reverse string is empty our string is having the value as code now in the first iteration character string character at index position 0 so what will be the value it will be c so inside the ch we have the value c now what we are doing we are adding ch to our reverse string so reverse string is empty right and character is having the value as c so reverse string c plus nothing will be c so first time we will get the value as c now in the second iteration this character will have the character character at index position 1 so it will have the value as o right so ch is having o and reverse string is having the value as c so o plus c will be oc so now we have the current value of reverse string as oc in the next iteration we will get the character index position at 2 so we will get the value d so here we will have the d and reverse string is updated to oc so oc so d plus oc will be doc and in the la last iteration we will get edoc so you will see we have reversed the string here the original string was code and in the reverse string we have edoc so in this way you can reverse the string now we have already got the reverse string but we don't want to print the reverse here we need to find the palindrome so we have done the reverse of a string so what we need to do we want to check if this particular reverse string is equal to the original string so if they are equal we can say palindrome so to check whether the two strings are equal we have one method called as equals method so this equals method checks if two strings are equal so it is used to check the equality between the two strings so how to use it let's say you have a string called level and your reverse string will also be same right it will be level so how to compare it so you need to say string so this particular variable string dot equals the another variable you want to check so first variable you will write here then put the dot and then say the equals method and inside the parameters you need to pass the another variable which is r string in this case and this method will return a boolean value it will return true if both variables are same it will return false if both variables are not same so let's see in our code what it returns now let's say we provide here if we will say the if else condition here if str dot equals and here you need to provide the reverse string variable if this is equal to reverse string then we will say sys out string is palindrome we will say string is palindrome and inside the else we will say 
else we will print the message as string is not palindrome so i will copy the upper statement paste it inside the else block and we will say string is not palindrome now let's save it so here we already know the string is cod and the reverse string we are getting is edoc so it is not same as the original string so we will get the message string is not palindrome let's run this code so yes we are getting it string is not palindrome now let's provide a string which will be palindrome so we have already have the example level so let's say level so it is a palindrome right now let's run this code so see now we are getting here the string is not a pal palindrome so why we are getting here string is not a palindrome let's try to print the reverse string here so let's say reverse string rstr and if we run this code so see we are getting a level so it is same as the original string still we are getting string is not palindrome because we have additionally add the space here so this space is also getting allocated to our reverse string so if you don't want this space then you need to remove this space here because it is getting added to our reverse string and in the original string we don't have any space so this is was the mistake here you need to remove this space here and if i remove the space and try to run this code now so see we are getting the reverse string as level which is our original string and we are getting the message string is palindrome now if i replace another value here let's say radar r a d r in this case also we will get string is palindrome so see we are getting string is palindrome one more enhancement we can do in this code let's say if i replace this smaller case r with the upper case r now so what will be the output the reverse will be the same right r a d a r so let's check oh now in this case we are getting string is not a palindrome okay but let's first understand what we are getting in the reverse string so here we will get the smaller case r first then a then d then a then upper case r right this is what we are getting in reverse string but when this function is comparing with the original string it will say in the string the first character was upper case r and in the reverse string we are getting first character as lower case r so that's why they are not equal so what we can do in this case if you want to ignore the cases a java is a case sensitive language right it will notice the difference between upper case r and smaller case r then you need to ignore the cases here so how you can ignore so here you can do whatever string you are getting you will convert it to lower case means anything you have provided you will convert it to lower case to both the string so you will say here the function to so here we are getting to lower case in the similar way you can also convert both string to upper case so let's convert to lower case you can do any one of them but remember whatever you are using for the string to convert you need to use the same to reverse string so if you are converting to lower case then use it to lower case and if you are using to upper case then convert both to upper case so in this case what will happen whatever value you are providing in that way you will get the reverse and then we will convert the string to lower case both so if you convert to lower case then it will be the same so in that way you can get the required output now if i run this code so it will say string is palindrome now the reverse is the string that we have provided but we are converting both the string to lower case in this case so that's why we are getting the message as string is palindrome so i hope you have understood how to implement the logic to check if a string is palindrome or not so that's it in this video we will cover another coding question in the next video thank you for watching Thank you.